Now, sometimes you may come across uh, transfer functions uh, looking something like this. Let's say k into s plus 2 by s into s square plus 2s plus 2. So here, this two are simple. Okay, it has one zero at s equals to minus two. This is a zero, and there are three poles. Okay, this is a simple zero or a real zero, and one zero. Okay, and there are three poles. Three poles out of which. s equals to 0 this is a simple pole or a real pole because it has no imaginary part but this s square plus 2s plus 2 we have to solve it to determine the exact location of the poles so this is in the form of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c now we have to solve it quadratic equation so if we solve it by using the formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a if we solve it it will become minus 2 plus minus b square 4 minus 8 by 2 isn't it 4 ac so this will be uh, if we calculate i am using a calculator you can calculate it so it will be simple minus 1 plus minus J. Yeah, you can also do it directly here. 4 minus 8 minus 4, which is 2j, which is minus 1 plus minus j. It is minus 2 plus minus 2j by 2, which is minus 1 plus minus j. So this is the complex pole. Okay, this is a complex pole. It has both a real part and an imaginary part. This is a complex pole. Okay, so you may come across these type of complex roots. There can be a complex zero also. There can be a complex zero. You may come across complex zeros. You may come across complex poles. So you should know how to determine. Now suppose you come across another transfer function uh, like this which is k into s square plus 6s plus 25 by s plus 1 into s plus 3. Now here there are two simple poles we know okay two poles that are simple that are real at s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 3 if we substitute s with minus 1 or minus 3 it will become 0 the denominator and the transfer function will tend to infinity but this numerator which is in the form of s square plus 6 s Plus 25. This may lead to complex zeros. We don't know. This may lead to complex zeros. Okay, let us solve it using the same quadratic equation formula ax square plus bx plus c. So it will be minus b 
which is minus 6 plus minus b square 36 minus 4ac minus 4 into 1 into 25 which is 100 by 2a which is 2 into 1 2. This is equal to minus 6 plus minus minus 64 by 2. This is equal to minus 6 plus minus 8j by 2 which is equal to minus 3 plus minus 4j okay so this is a complex root it is a complex zero it has a real part which is minus 3 and mirror imaginary parts plus 4j and minus 4j so this is a complex zero so we have discussed both simple poles and zeros a complex pole and a complex zero so this consists of a real part and an imaginary part so this is the case of poles and zeros or transfer function with different nature of poles and zeros it can be both simple or real and it can be complex as well okay So if we just want to conclude our discussion on poles and zeros, we can represent a transfer function with something like this. Uh, K S plus Z1 S plus Z2 say A1 S square plus B1, S plus C1, so on, uh, S plus P1, S plus P2, A subscript to S square plus B2, S plus C2, and so on. So here, the Z1, z2 are simple zeros okay they are simple zeros p1 and p2 okay z1 and z2 are simple zeros or real zeros they have no imaginary parts p1 and p2 they are simple poles or real poles and the roots of these equations a1 s square plus b1 s plus c1 this can can or cannot may or may not lead to complex zeros okay they may lead to complex zeros or may not and this a2 s square plus b2 s plus c2 it will lead to complex poles okay and so on so the simple poles or simple zeros they do not have any imaginary part only real components and these type of quadratic equations have both real and imaginary part and the scale it is called as the gain factor this is a com scale okay this is a com scale so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to poles and zeros of a transfer function of a system. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.